Hey, and welcome to this video for Clone Files Checker. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the features that this software offers, and we're going to show you how you can use it to remove duplicate files from your machine. If you haven't already, all you have to do is visit the website. It's clonefileschecker.com, and you'll see here that on the main page, you're going to have a link to download the software. Click on this Download Clone Files Checker link here. And you'll be able to download the software onto your machine. Okay, so now that I've downloaded and installed the software, we can see how it works. Now when you do install the program, you'll notice that there is a free version uh, with some of the features available, but if you like the software, I encourage you to register it. And all you have to do to register the software is go in the top right-hand corner and click on Register. Now if you've already purchased the software, you'll just simply need to enter your email address and your license code and click on Register. If you haven't already purchased a license, simply click on the Buy Now button you'll be able to purchase a license for the software. So after you purchase a license and you enter your email and license key, you get a message like this that'll show you that you've registered successfully. All right, so now that we've registered the software, we can go ahead and start using some of the features. So one of the first things you'll notice here is in the top left-hand corner, you can select a drive or folder that you want to scan. So in this case, I can go ahead and click on the Add button, and we can find where we would like to scan for duplicate files. Now for now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a specific folder. So we'll browse to the folder that we want to scan for duplicate files right now. And once you find the folder that you want to add, simply select it and click on the OK button. And you'll notice that you can add as many folders in here as you'd like. So if you want to scan multiple folders, you can do that. Or if you prefer, you can also scan your entire drive. So let's just go ahead and look for duplicate files in this folder. Go ahead and click on the Start Search button. And once the search completes, it's going to give you a message here showing you how many duplicate files were found. It also shows you how much space those files are taking up. So you'll have two options here. You can either run the Fix Wizard or Review and Fix. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Review and Fix button here. Okay, and you can also click on the full screen button if you want to get a better preview of what files you're going to be selecting. And now we can go ahead and go to the bottom and click on Select Duplicates. Now you'll notice that you have a few different options here when you click on this option. So your first option here would be to retain the newest files in each group. You can also retain the oldest files in each group. Retain the most modified in each group. Retain the least modified in each group. You can also unselect all the different options here in this list or you can select by file locations. So if you choose this option to select by file locations, it's going to allow you to select duplicates for action based on the location of duplicates. So for example, if you have data on two different drive locations, like B and D for example, you can tell the application to unmark data which is on the B drive. This way it's going to retain the files on that drive and mark files for action based off the other drive, in this case D. So this will give you flexibility to be able to remove or retain duplicate files from folders and drives that you choose. So let's go ahead and click on the Select by File Locations option here. And let's go ahead and click on the Add button. So here again I can go ahead and choose the folder path. I'm going to just browse to the same folder here. And click on OK once you've made your selection. And click on Add. So now you'll have the option to either mark or unmark those options. Click on Mark in this case. And here you can see that I have my items marked in my list here. So again, the Select by File Locations option is going to be very useful if you're dealing with multiple drives. Uh, but for now, I can go ahead and just select all the options in my list here that I want to remove as far as duplicates go. So once we've marked all the files that we want to remove, we can go ahead and click on the Fix Wizard. And now I can go ahead and click on the Fix Wizard option once more. You can choose whether or not you'd like to keep the newest or oldest files. In this case, I'll choose the oldest. And then you can choose whether or not you like to permanently delete the files or if you want to move those files to a different folder. I'll go ahead and click on the permanently delete button here. And so after you run that process here, you can see you're going to get a confirmation that the operation was performed successfully and all the items in red will be the files that you've actually removed. Now if I navigate over to the folder where those files were located, you can see that I only have this one file here, and all those duplicate files that we see here have now been deleted. Now another thing to note here is when you're selecting files from uh, this area here, you can also click on the Select Action button at any time, and you'll have quick access to delete or move the files to a different location. You can also export the list to a CSV file, and then when you're done, you can go ahead and clear your results. You'll note that there's also a music search option here, and there's even an iTunes search option. Clicking on the Cloud Scan tab up here, if you click on Load Drive, you actually be able to sign into online accounts to be able to clear files from there as well. 
And then finally, if you navigate over to the History tab, you'll be able to see a record of all the scans that you've run, as well as how many duplicate files have been found and removed, etc. So that's just a quick look at Clone Files Checker, the best way to remove duplicate files on any computer. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.